Hey, it's Asia Sky here from DX Daily, and get this. Lil Pump does not believe that J. Cole crystal balled his career trajectory. Lil Pump reflected on his brief spat and subsequent sit down with J. Cole in a recent interview with Bootleg Kev, where he refuted the notion that Cole predicted his supposed decline following his breakout hit Gucci Gang. When asked about it, Pump said, Do you feel like he predicted kind of like what ended up happening with your rap career? Nope. No. Because I'm still here. I got. I I'm not houses. saying that you're. I'm not saying that you're not like still fucking rich and successful. I just mean in terms of like that era of rap where like people got fame so fast. They were so young. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like that was some of the foresight that he was saying. Not even necessarily about quote unquote falling off. You know what I mean? Uh, Do you don't do you think he, you don't think he predicted anything? I don't think he predicted shit. No, that's fair. I'm still here. You're st- I mean, you're still here, 100%. <laughs> he was okay. trying to understand the young generation. He, Because at that time, you know, like he, people didn't understand what was going on with right. the music. But they were just like, there's this new wave coming in. We don't understand it, but we're just going to roll with it. And mm. he was trying to understand what was going on. But you, I fuck with J. Cole. Yeah. There's, I don't have no problems with him. Now, things between J. Cole and Lil Pump weren't always so cordial. Cole appeared to take shots at Pump and his SoundCloud rap peers on his KOD album cut, 1985, kind of dismissing them as novelty acts who should heed his advice. On the song, Cole said, When they them kids is listening, gonna grow up and get too old for that shit that made you blow up. Now your show's looking light because they don't show up, which unfortunately means the money slow up. Now you scrambling and hoping to get hot again, but you forgot you only pop because you was riding trends. The song came after Lil Pump previewed a song called FJ Cole on social media, with the phrase being chanted at some of his shows. Lil Pump responded to J. Cole in a video posted on social media saying, Wow, you get so much props. You just a 17 year old. <laughs> Lame ass jit. Shortly after, the pair met up at J. Cole's Shelter recording studio in North Carolina for a lengthy and surprisingly candid conversation. This conversation was released on YouTube, and Cole and Pump found middle ground while discussing the origin of their feud and the generational divide in hip hop. Two years after that meeting, Cole seemingly addressed his beef with Pump on Lion King on Ice, a song from his Lewis Street EP. Nigga, this me, was I sat him down like his father. My nigga has why you bother. We should have caught him in murder. I said we got him Muspada. Don't want be the reason for one more sad song. I try to warn niggas they wouldn't last long. I hope that you see how they came and they went. They shots never hit, but they made their attempts. May have a good year like that name on a blip, but you know what it take to be popping this long. So what do you think about the back and forth between Lil Pump and J. Cole? And do you think J. Cole's predictions were accurate? Or do you agree with Lil Pump that J. Cole's predictions weren't accurate? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast and keep it locked to Hip Hop DX.